In this video, we're going to look at seven common mistakes that can shorten your blue healer's life. The Australian cattle dog is a loving, loyal, high energy dog that needs certain things in order to thrive and really live their best life. So in this video, we're going to share seven things that you may be doing, not realizing that it's really impacting your blue healer's life. The first mistake that can greatly impact your blue healer's lifespan is lack of exercise. If you know anything about cattle dogs, this is a no brainer. These dogs are high energy, tireless dogs that need a lot of exercise. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure they're out running and really getting the exercise they need. They need about an hour a day of exercise. If they don't get this, it's hard on their mind and body because this is what they were bred to do. This is how they were created hundreds of years ago to be out herding cattle in the wild. So if they're inside for long periods of time, it's just not good for their overall mind and body and can shorten their lifespan. Next mistake that can shorten your blue healer's life is no leadership. There's a reason dogs need leadership. If they have a strong leader, then they can fall in line and be safe, secure, and know that they're protected. But when you, the pet parent, you don't provide that leadership, this is when the dog wants to take over and be the leader and they can be protective. And that is definitely the case with a blue healer. They're loyal and protective. And if you don't show the leadership skills, then this is when they're gonna wanna take over and they're gonna be anxious, nervous, and not know what to do because it's not natural. They need to fall in line with your pack and you be the leader. The next mistake that can shorten your blue healer's life is feeding them poor food. Kibble has been proven that it's just not good for your dog because it's high in carbs, it's highly processed, and it doesn't have the protein that your blue healer needs. Your dog needs an evolutionarily appropriate diet. So that means fresh food and meat. So it's up to you as the owner to look out and try to find this for your dog and not feed them kibble day after day. There's a few different ways to accomplish this. We recommend We Feed Raw. All you have to do is go on their website, fill out some information about your dog, and they send you exactly what you need. In the packet, it's got bones, organs, meat, everything that's evolutionary appropriate for your dog. It comes frozen, just thaw and serve. Link in the description for 25% off. Start off with a small order, see how your dog likes it, and go from there. The next common mistake that shortens your blue healer's life is no annual checkups. Sometimes we forget that your dog needs a checkup just like humans. This may be able to stop and prevent health issues before they happen. If you wait until there's signs of distress, then it may be too late. So make sure that you take your blue healer in once a year for an annual checkup. This is great to get them checked up and it's also good to get them socialized with going to the vet. So when you really do need to go to the vet, they'll be used to it, know what's going on and not be overly anxious when there really is a problem. The next mistake that shortens your blue healer's life is allowing them to roam unsupervised. This may not be a problem as blue healers like to be Velcroed to their owners, but if it is a situation where your dog likes to roam and be out looking for things, this could shorten their life because they could get into things that aren't good as far as another predator, a coyote, a porcupine, a skunk, things that you don't want your blue healer to engage with. So make sure if you're out and about with your blue healer, you know where they are and you keep them supervised so that they don't get into something that could potentially harm them. Another common mistake that can shorten your blue healer's life is not socializing them. Socializing your dog is super important, but especially a blue healer because of how protective and loyal they can be. So an unsocialized blue healer could get aggressive, could get in dog fights, and could get themselves in trouble. They're not afraid of anything, and this dog will die in order to protect its owner. So they're super loyal, so it's up to you to get this dog around other animals, pets, dogs, kids, you name it, get this dog around as many people as you can so you don't have to worry about them trying to be protective and being unsure around other dogs. This could lead to dog fights, injuries, and possibly death. The number seven mistake that can shorten your blue healer's life is forgetting about dental care. One thing we always forget about as dog owners is your dog's teeth. There's a few different things you can give your dog, but it's up to you as the owner to actually brush their teeth once in a while, at least once a month. Look at their teeth, see how they're doing. If you see something abnormal, chip tooth, make sure you take them in or call your vet. Sometimes dental health is overlooked and it can cause problems that we don't realize as pet owners. 
Teeth can be rotting, there can be injuries inside the mouth that can really impact your dog. So make sure you check on this at least once a month. We hope you've enjoyed this video about the blue healer and things that you can do to lengthen their life. We love this dog and it's a great dog for you and your family and we want them around as long as possible. We'll see all of you on the next one.